Is it going to be painful? Yes. It's going to be like having everything you are ripped out and replaced with something else. Someone else. I'm ready. I just I wish I could say goodbye to everyone. No one else can know. This isn't just about infiltrating Far Harbor. It's about becoming the human that synths drawn here need to meet. Reasonable. Willing to accept them as just another living thing. No greater or lesser than humanity itself. You'll be part of the bridge between our two worlds. That all vanishes the moment anyone discovers that it's been manufactured. That you're a synth. Did she have to die? The, the woman I'm replacing? God, she looks so peaceful lying there. Don't. Please. That blood is on my hands, not yours. Going up.
she saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Be closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully. Hey, Kasumi. You're back. So, what did you find? Can we really trust Gema? Or is he hiding something? I found Dima's earliest memories. He murdered and replaced someone in Far Harbor. Then he covered it up. Even hiding the knowledge of it from himself. Damn it. I was hoping I was wrong. But I just knew there was something. Do you know why he did it? I think he just wants peace for everyone on the island. Even if it means controlling them from the shadows. So he means the best? Should we help him? Is Acadia worth saving? There's good people, since here. You should head home, Kasumi. Back to the Commonwealth. I've been thinking about that, actually, but I need to see this through. There are synths here I care about. Maybe when this is over, we can talk about it again? Feel free to say whatever is on your mind. One of your memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor and let the fog take them. It's all here in this holiday. Let me see this. I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island, so I made a contingency plan. Mass murder. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory, because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. Don't worry, Dima. I already have the code. Our harbor is safe. Good. Now we just need to find some way to end this conflict. Have you found anything else in my memories? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. So you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a simp's identity from her and made her an agent. Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor. A moderate voice. 
an example of what humanity should be. How we could exist together as equals. But I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. Okay. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. I'm... starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I... have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. So, you did all of that on your own? No one else in Acadia is involved? What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. Keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the... guilt... will keep me focused. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has... given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more... tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the Children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. All right. Tell me what your plan is. This will be difficult for both of us, but I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center, where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here, and the replacement will move in and take command. Do we have to kill the High Confessor? It would be the most reliable way of dealing with him. But any method that removes Tectus from power indefinitely should work. Are the children gonna stand down just because this replacement tells them to? Dissent may arise, but the children have seen what happens to those who speak out. Our replacement will leverage that fear to serve the greater good. You really think you can get together a convincing replacement? Yes. Helping synths recover what they've lost means we've had to become familiar with memory wipes and facial reconstruction. And I knew Tectus very well when I was still living in the submarine base. I'll use that as the basis for our replacement's new memories. You simply need to deal with the real Confessor Tectus while I... Prepare a volunteer. Okay. I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor, Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead. But if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private. All we have to do is manufacture Martin's uprising. To do so, I'll need raw material. Martin recorded many of our conversations. Those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed, but I built a small refuge for Martin many years ago when he needed respite from the family. Go there and collect any tapes you can find. I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have this as well, for what you've done for us.
Thank you for coming so quickly. I heard about the execution. I can't believe they killed your missionary, Martin. I'm sorry. Brother Andrews, a good soul. The fault is mine. If I'd realized things had become so tense in Bar Harbor, do you believe Time the others was. will follow him? I would have laughed at such a notion, but now... Andrews was beloved by many. It's brought out the worst in them. Fury, hate. It was tolerable when it was just Tectus. Dima, something must be done. Exile? Exodus. I think it's time you and I convinced the citizens of Far Harbor to leave. You can't be serious. You know as well as I, they're not meant for this place. The fog grows thicker every year. How long before the condensers are finally overwhelmed? It's not banishment, Dima. It's mercy. I'm sorry, Martin, but no. They have as much right to be here as you do. Right? This place is trying to kill them! And now my people are at my throat because of the mess you created by allowing them to stay! And if you can't recognize that, then I suppose there's no reason for you to be here. I think you should go! Martin, please. This can be solved in other ways. Get out! Very well. We'll talk again when you come to your senses. I have to say, I'm surprised. I had assumed you and your followers would be more adamantly hunting for the sub's launch key. I hope we haven't disappointed you too greatly. I'd uh, hate to anger our landlord. I believe I'll survive. But am I mistaken? Does your god not require you die? In the blast? Is that not why you've taken up in the nucleus? It's not a transaction, Dima. Adam requires nothing of us. He has granted us a chance to become something greater. To divide our weak mortal frames and bring life to millions of new worlds. We are simply accepting the opportunity his glow presents, whatever form it may 